Well, you found it, folks. This is the tutorial on shish kebabs. I'm going to teach you what you need to know about marinating and cooking up a real shish kebab the right way. This is Shish Kebabs 101, and guys, it is delicious. Well, howdy, folks. Welcome to Texas Cooking Today. I'm Stuart Trotter, your host. Today, we're going to be preparing some wonderful, delicious food. And what you're watching here, this is one of my tutorials. So if you're looking for all of the answers and all of the details about this recipe, you found the right video. If you just need the recipe, watch the previous episode. That's what that is. And thank you very much for watching. Now, let's get into this. Guys, you saw that picture? That is beautiful. Today's recipe is all about marinating. This is shish kebabs, okay? And when it comes to shish kebab, it's about the marinade in the meat and about the approach, how it's lined out, how it's cooked, the whole bit. Now, I would like to say, you know, shish kebabs, that's not a Texas food. It's not an American food, okay? This, this predates the United States way, way, way back, centuries back. This is a Persian dish, guys. Um, and we're not going to be using all Middle Eastern flavors here, but what I want to do is use my own marinade with their techniques to produce a fabulous shish kebab. And we're going to be discussing different things to use in marinades, what works, what doesn't work, and how to approach getting a really good meat marinade and getting the most flavor out of your meat. We're going to show you how to, how to cut the meat the right way and how to set it up for the best quality shish kebabs that you can ever have. So this is a simple dish, it's a delicious dish, and I'll tell you what, you're gonna like it once you try it. Now let's get in the kitchen, let's get busy making some shish kebabs, come on. Okay guys, here we have it. Of course, we're making beef shish kebabs today, so the king of the dish, beef back here. Now the cut isn't so important. The way we approach cutting it down to be marinated is important. So that's what we're gonna be getting into in a little bit when it comes to that meat. As far as the marinade, the one thing I want to stress here, and I see this a lot, I wanna stress don't use fats or oils in your marinade. Now, if you've watched my show in the past, you'll know I will use oils and fats and things like that to help seal juices down into meat. Well, the same way those oils and fats seal juice in meat while you're cooking it, they also prevent juices from getting into meat while you're trying to marinate it, okay? So let's not go down the road of using oil, olive oil, things like that in our marinade. We want to keep the marinades liquids that are acidic, that help to break down the meat, and flavors to add to those liquids that bring out unique and special flavors in the final dish after it's been grilled. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna cut this meat a special way so that it marinades a little faster, a little better, and so that it produces a far superior shish kebab. The marinade spices are flavors that I have used regularly here on Texas Cooking Today. All of these flavors should be, well, you should be comfortable with them by now. And these also cross over, a lot of these flavors cross over to the original Persian recipes for this. So we're gonna be using some cumin, paprika, cayenne, oregano, thyme, salt, lime juice, lemon juice, a little water, some garlic. I have this bottle out here because, guys, if you don't have a grill or a way of producing smoke flavor, you can use that liquid smoke in your marinade. You're gonna get the same flavor. It does work, so give that a try if you've never tried it before. It's a neat way of doing it. Me, I'm gonna be using the real thing. We got some mesquite wood here. That's a Texas flavor. And I'm gonna be smoking those on a gas grill. Now, if you've never smoked on a gas grill, please, I've got a recipe all about smoking on a gas grill. Check that out. It's not hard to do. If you have a piece of foil and some wood chips, you're ready to go. So, you can smoke on your grill, it's fun, and we're gonna produce delicious flavors with this. So guys, let's get on with making our shish kebabs. Come on. Okay guys, it's time for us to cut up our meat and get it ready for marinating. What I wanna do is I wanna take this and to process it into some pieces suitable for 
nice shish kebabs. So what I'm going to do is just take off one good piece right there. Look at that. Beautiful deep burgundy meat. Love that. Okay, so this, once it's cut down into little triangles, about a half inch thick, it's going to be perfect for what we're doing. I can take what's left here and probably do this one more time. There we go. And we are ready for the rest. Beautiful, isn't that? So now I can cut these down into half inch thick strips all of which will marinate quickly and then when we cook them up I'll just line them up just like this on their skewers and it's going to be very easy to cook them up. So what I'll do here, let's get this out of my way. Like I said, about half inch thick. That way as I line them up on my skewer, I'll line them up the same way they came out and it'll produce this wonderful, beautiful solid strip of beef that'll cook up perfectly on that grill. Have a bowl nearby to put all your meat into marinade. Very easy. Come around the other side and take a look at this from the other angle, guys. Notice I keep those fingers turned under. Just roughly half inch thick, beautiful slices. And they don't have to be perfect, okay? They don't have to be absolutely uniform. As long as they're very close, you're good. Now something else that I've done here, guys, I've been cutting across the grain, which also allows better penetration of that marinade, okay, all the way across. So here we go, all of this down in there. I'm ready to start my marinating. Well guys, we have our meat all cut up. All of our spices and ingredients are laid out for our marinade. What I've done here is I've simply removed the husk from my garlic. I have several cloves. And as I mentioned, um, I would like to mention that if you want to know how much of this stuff to use, figure no more than about two tablespoons per every, well, no more than a tablespoon per pound on your meat, roughly, on your spices. It doesn't have to be exactly that because there's certain things you need to learn to balance. For instance, cumin and paprika are both delicious, but cumin will overpower the paprika so quickly that it will just make your head spin. So you don't really want as much cumin as you might want paprika. This is part of learning, you know, this, this growing structure, this process of producing good quality marinades and flavors and things. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use roughly a tablespoon of my cumin and that lends a very wonderful earthy tone to the dish. This gives kind of a warm welcoming tone to it. It's that nice chili flavor. I want to use two tablespoons on that. All right. Now let's get some salt in this. I want about one tablespoon of salt. It doesn't need a lot and that salt will make the liquid a little heavier also. It helps to push it into the meat somewhat. The thyme, wonderful flavor. I'm going to use about a tablespoon and a half on my thyme, okay? Because that is a good flavor for this kind of a marinade. And my oregano, oh, it works so well with that thyme. There we go, a tablespoon and a half again. The cayenne, folks, unless you want your dish hot, be easy on that cayenne. I'm going to use about a tablespoon in mine. If you think that that's not being easy, trust me, in my kitchen it is. My lime juice, my lemon juice, and water to bring it up. There we go. Now it's a matter of getting it all mixed together well. And just keep turning that until you have it thoroughly mixed, guys. Once it is, we cover it and we're gonna marinate that. And it doesn't have to marinate for all day or anything. Approximately two hours of marinating with your meat cut at a half inch thickness will be more than enough to get the flavor all the way to the very center of each piece of meat. Now, how's that for cool, huh? Something that doesn't take forever, that tastes delicious, something that can wow your guests and your palate. So there we have it. 
Now I'm just going to put some clear wrap over the top of this and I'm going to put it under refrigeration and I'm going to leave it there to marinate. And I want to tell you what's going to happen guys. You see that beautiful red color you see on this meat? That's going to change. It's going to darken dramatically and that's going to be because the acid in this marinade is actually actively cooking the meat as we speak. Okay. So there's cooking happening right now, even though it's not really visible. Now guys, once your meat has fully marinated, you just want to start pulling it out of that liquid, get it onto something you can work on. And remember, we had three different basic shapes of cuts. Okay, so what I want to do is stack all my triangles together, all the rectangles together, and all of the larger rectangle, the square ones together. And those would be pretty much three different uh, shish kebabs. So really not that tough to figure out once you get it all opened up. Right? Kind of? Sort of? <laughs> okay, so what I want to do, I want to aim these pieces so if they all kind of line up and form a uniform, even row of meat. This is very delicate. I can tell already it's very tender. There we have it guys, three beautiful shish kebabs ready to go on that grill. And as I mentioned before, if you want to go ahead and salt this lightly, this is a good time to do that. Even though they were salt in the marinade, it's nice to have a little light coating on the outside of that meat and it's ready to hit the grill as is. Okay. Cook this the same way you would a good thick steak, all right? So we're looking at about four to five minutes per side on these things. This one that's a little thicker can go in a hotter part of the grill for the same amount of time or just cook it for an extra minute, okay? That's that. Well, there we go, guys. We have a nice smoky condition and it's time for us to get our kebabs out here on the grill. That big one in the back where it's good and hot. We get a little salt on in there, close that up, and let them smoke. There we go. Get out here. there guys isn't that gorgeous it's a delicious way to do meat yeah now guys when it comes down to how much of these items do we use what is our ingredients list tell you what come a little closer let's look at everything that we used and discuss how to approach how much to use when it comes to creating your own marinades. Come up closer. Now what I started with, of course, I had a lot of beef back here. So this is about four pounds of beef. To that, I used a marinade that was made with one quarter of a cup of lime juice, about a half a cup of lemon juice. I added water just to bring it up over the top of the meat. And of course, as you saw on our spices and herbs, it's pretty much to taste. But if you want a good, <clears throat> just sort of a good round figure to go with, figure roughly one tablespoon of each of these spices to uh, every two pounds of meat. Okay, so you can be stronger on the spices if you want, or lighter, stronger on the herbs, or lighter, just depending on your particular flavors, uh, your, your desires for certain flavors, and what you're looking for in your particular marinade. If you want a more fruity marinade, I would say use less spices, more herbs, and more fruit flavorants, like maybe orange juice or add papaya or, or some pineapple. If you wanted a more Asian flavor, well, I would remove some of these and pull in maybe some, um, keep the lemon juice, but less of it, and then use some soy sauce, adding in some ginger and garlic, you get that nice Asian flavor there. So just depending on how you want your marinade to come out is the way you need to structure it. Remember, keep the fats away from it. You don't need oil for this. It won't improve it. Oil can help right before you cook, only to seal in some of the moisture as you cook. But when we're grilling that fast with smoke, it's usually not a problem. 
So guys, here you have it. Beautiful layout, all of your stuff. Give this a try. You're really going to enjoy yourself. Well, guys, we are back in from the grill and these are absolutely stellar. Okay, beautiful, beautiful shish kebabs. This is something that everybody should get to enjoy. The flavors are fantastic. I'm just gonna cut through one of these pieces right here. Hey guys, beautiful medium right there in the middle. Okay, that was five minutes per side. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah, that beefy flavor. Just a little bit of spice in the background. Mm. The marinade, just, <clears throat> it just lends to it. Doesn't overwhelm it. Mm. It is light on this one. It's light and delicious and very, very tasty. Guys, thank you. Thank you very much for watching Texas Cooking today, for watching this episode. If you would, please subscribe, click the like button. Please try this recipe. You're really gonna be floored when you do so. And if you would, do one last thing. Folks, just have a good day. Bye-bye. Well, there it is, guys. Texas Cooking Today tutorial. Thank you very much for watching this show and for watching Texas Cooking Today. If you would, please go to my channel, check out what I have there. There's some wonderful recipes and some great tutorials waiting for you to try. Again, thank you very much.